Today I'm going to show you how to put a texture inside of text in Photoshop, but we're going to make it look like it has a lot of real depth. Hey, it's Colin Smith here from PhotoshopCafe.com, the very best place to learn Photoshop and Lightroom. All right, so without further ado, we're going to create some text and then we're going to fill it with a texture and then we're going to do some other cool things with custom brushes and ah, you'll see. Let's just get started. So first thing we want to do is create some text. So let's grab the type tool here and we're going to click. By the way, I'm on Photoshop CC 2019 and you will need to be on Photoshop CC 2019 for this to work. If you're not, I'll tell you the workaround. So right now I'm using a Myriad Pro Bold and let's just click and drag this up here. Control T or Command T for free transform because I want to make it a little bit bigger. So I'm going to hold down the Alt key or the option key to make it go from the center and we're just going to drag it up nice and big here great now what we want to do is we want to fill this text with a texture okay so what we're going to do now is we're just going to right click on this and convert to frame click OK and now you're going to see this so basically a frame, you might be used to it for rectangles and ovals and things like that, but you can also convert custom shapes and text into a frame. A frame becomes a placeholder that we can fill with any image or any texture. So let's go ahead and put a rock texture into here. So we're going to go under our library here and we're going to grab this rock that I grabbed from Adobe Stock and just simply click and drag and it's going to put it inside. Now, if you were working in any other image, you could also open it and just drag it in. It doesn't have to be from the library, just so you know. So I'm going to hit Control T because I want to make this a little bit larger. I want to fill all of this word that says The Rock. Not The Rock, as in Dwight Johnson, The Rock, but as in The Rock Texture. Now, I might have grabbed my Rock Texture from Adobe Stock, but one of the things I do, and my friends think I'm crazy, is when we're walking around, whenever I see textures, I'm always taking photographs. And people are saying, what are you taking photos of? There's nothing there, but I'm actually taking a photo of a wall or the ground or, you know, just be on the lookout for interesting looking textures. Um, you know, you can photograph them with your camera or use your mobile phone, clouds, things like that. Build up a library and you can use them. All right. So what I want to do, though, before I continue is I'm going to take this and I want to kind of do a little bit more to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into our rock texture here and I'm going to double click it and open it in its own document. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a custom brush so we can add some texture to it. Now the brush doesn't support color so we're just going to hit Command Shift U for desaturate and then we're going to hit Command L for levels and that would be Control on Windows. Control L. Okay let's crush up the blacks and let's crush up the whites here. So what I'm doing is I'm just trying to pull out the texture. So I'm just looking for that texture and right there, that's looking pretty good. So obviously, this is not going to look like a realistic rock anymore. That's not the point. The point here is to create a brush. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to just kind of drag it around here in the middle area there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose to edit, define brush preset. And there's a brush. I'm going to call it rock. And click OK. And you can see now that rock texture is filling our brush. We're going to come back to that in a minute. Let's go back to our rock texture here. And now what I want to do is I want to kind of displace it a little bit. But before I do that, I can't apply a layer style. Like watch what happens if I try to bevel and emboss here. See how it's just not really going to work? Nothing's going to happen because I can't apply it directly here. So what I need to do is put it inside a layer group. So control G will put that inside a layer group. And now I'm just working like a regular layer and I'll just call this one rock. All right. And now I can apply a bevel and emboss. So let me apply a bevel and emboss right now. We're going to use a bevel. We're going to use a inner bevel and let's play around with the size a little bit. Let's take it to about there. Now, obviously, this is not looking super realistic yet. There's some other things I want to do. So I'm going to apply a layer mask. And now what I want to do is I want to nibble around in this layer mask a little bit. So I'm going to grab a brush. 
and I'm not going to use this brush just yet. We'll come back to this one. So we're just going to open up the brushes here and we just want something like, I don't know, like that dry media brush you'll see in there. Um, you can download different types of brushes as well from different places. So I'm just going to grab this, make it a little bit bigger. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of paint with black. So I'm going to put black in the layer mask and I'm just going to kind of just kind of chisel away at some of these edges a little bit. Maybe make this a little bigger. There we go. And see what I'm doing? I'm just kind of distressing it a little bit. And I'm just kind of starting with this one. And I'm just, see how it's just adding little dents and things? Don't worry, this will become a lot more evident soon. So all I'm doing is just kind of adding a little texture, just distressing it slightly. And now we can use different types of brushes. We can mix that up. Let's try a different one. All right, so this is kind of getting us somewhere. So I just want to duplicate it. So I'm just going to click on it and hit Control J and it makes a copy. Now what I want to do is I'm going to grab the brush that we created and it should be at the bottom of the list. So just scroll all the way down and you'll see there's our rock right there. So I'm going to start on these two and why don't we hide the background here so you can just see this and it'll make it really clear what's happening. So now we're going to grab these two and just click. Notice it eats away most of it. We're going to do the same on the other side. Just tap once, you know, click once with your mouse or tap with your Wacom tablet. Now, if we turn this on, notice what we've done. See this texture that goes over the top and it just really gives us a lot more texture. And if we zoom in closer, you can really see how this is starting to really give it a really nice rock texture there. See that? So let's just zoom out. Now that we've created that texture, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab both of these and I'm going to drag it down a little bit. Just put it there. And one of the things that I did previously is I extracted this little part here. So you can see that I just kind of quickly extracted that and I've got other tutorials on how to do it. And you could just kind of drag that to the top if you wanted. So you could just kind of sandwich this rock in behind that. All right, I just want to kind of make this pop a little bit more. So we're going to double click on our top layer here of the bevel. And let's have a look and see what we can do to just kind of play around with this. So I'm going to play around with the size a little bit. If I make it a little smaller, see how that starts to have a little better texture there. So the top one is definitely having a smaller texture than the bottom one. And also we're going to play around with the glass angle. So if we play around things like this here, I think that particular one there looks good. Let's just play around with the size. That's too big. See how it looks weird and fake. So see now we've got this nice rough texture across the top of that rock. And let me zoom in a little bit so you guys can see it better and see what we're doing there. We're really starting to give it a little bit more realism and it looks a little weird here. So I think I'm just going to change the mode on it. So let's go from the gloss contour, change it to something like that. See, that's a little bit more realistic and we could go into contour here, uh, make sure anti alias is turned on and we could play around with that and try some different things. I think that one there looks about the best. All right, so depending on the kind of texture you want, grab a different kind of a contour and you can see there we are able to create that nice rock effect. Anyway, there's a number of different things in there that you can dissect and pull apart and apply to your own work. So the question today is, do you like outdoor activities or do you prefer indoor activities and what kind of activities do you like? Drop it in the comment underneath. I'd love to know. So anyway, if you like this tutorial, smash that like button into dust. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button right now because if you want to be part of the cafe crew, I do a new tutorial every week. Hit the subscribe button and that little notification bell and you'll be notified whenever I upload a new tutorial. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching and until next time, I'll see you at the cafe. So clearly I like rock. That's why this guitar is behind me all the time.